Hello, this is History Shorts with the Artifactual Scholar. Today, I'll be talking about the Sykes-Picot Treaty. In the United States, many people consider the Middle East to be a seething cauldron of religious extremism and never-ending violence. The political and social instability is often blamed on dictatorships or failed regimes. But what is the historical origin of the modern Middle East? For centuries, the area had been dominated by the Ottoman Empire. Yet, by the early 20th century, Ottoman power was greatly in decline, and Britain, France, and Germany were exerting greater influence in the region. When World War I erupted in 1914, the Ottoman Empire allied itself with Germany and Austria against Britain, France, and Russia. Through the first year of the war, the armies of the European powers were locked in a terrible stalemate on the Western Front in France. In 1915, despite a failed attempt by British Empire troops to knock Turkey out of the war during the Gallipoli Campaign, British and French negotiators were planning the post-war dismemberment of the Ottoman Empire. From November 1915 to March 1916, the diplomats, led by Britain, Sir Mark Sykes, and Frenchman, Georges Francois Picot, secretly negotiated future spheres of influence in the area. Both Britain and France were more concerned with protecting their own interests than with the historical and cultural realities of the region. As a result, the treaty and map that resulted largely ignored the situation on the ground. The Sykes-Picot Agreement that was signed in May 1916 divided the Middle East into a, a French-administered area in the north and a British-influenced area in the south, with Palestine set aside as an international zone. One of the main problems with the agreement was that it ignored the rising tide of Arab nationalism. Since the early 19-teens, the British had quietly encouraged Arabs within the Ottoman Empire to rebel against their Turkish overlords, and by 1915, the British were openly supporting an Arab independence movement. In June 1916, barely a month after the Sykes-Picot Agreement was formalized, the Great Arab Revolt began. The goal of the British-supported Arabs was to create a single, unified Arab state stretching from modern-day Syria to the southern tip of the Arabian Peninsula, a goal that was undermined by Sykes-Picot. When the First World War finally ended in 1918, the British and French began the process of dividing up the Middle East over the objections of both Arabs and Turks. By the 1920s, several small states such as Jordan, Syria, and Iraq had been carved out of the remnants of the Ottoman Empire. Unfortunately, the kingmakers in Britain and France once again ignored the ethnic, cultural, and sectarian realities of the region and created countries that were inherently divided. As a result, the attempts at nation-building failed to create stability, and within decades, many of the new countries were torn by civil war and violence. Today, the legacy of Sykes-Picot and the failure of European imperialism are very much evident in the political and religious turmoil of the Middle East. This has been History Shorts. Thanks for watching.